Hey guys, Steve from Alpha Antenna here. Chase stopped by. Make sure you click subscribe or like on the channel. Well, we probably lost 30,000 people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How y'all doing? Check it out. We got milled parts there from Alpha Antenna. We even laser engraved these things. A lot of people just put a return address level sticker on their telescopic whips uh, that we also laser engrave with our name on here. Uh, if you happen to find one that, uh, I don't know, has a return address label on it, make sure you use it and send it back to them because they bought them from China and relabeled the junk. All right, moving on. 34 and a half feet long is what this is when it's deployed. Check out the stud on this. This is a massive stud here for the, it's actually milled at the base. Check out the reflective qualities. It is very beautifully machined by our machinist. Over here on this side, we also laser engraved alpha antenna as well. So recently I saw somebody mention that their uh, equipment was starting to break from other places where their antenna system like this is green. Um, again, Chinese junk being resold. Uh, you'll also find that uh, a lot of the equipment out there right in here that you buy has uh, press fit. This is, as you can see, milled. And you'll know it's ours because we sell the only black version of this. So this is a lot of fun to talk about when you start to see return address labels on things like that as well. Yeah, from manufacturers. Can you believe it? All right. Uh, those whips, 34 and a half feet, can do 40 meters through 2 meters. We've got the 17 and a half foot, 17 foot 9 inch whip. Um, you need that extra 9 inches if you want to go ahead and get down to the lower CW portion of the band on 20 meters. Uh, if you're getting something that's not 17 foot 9 inches, it's made in China. So measure it and you'll absolutely know. Where do, the, where do we use these antennas? The elements go on something like this, which is the hex tennis system. Uh, that's a dipole, a V-dipole, to increase efficiencies and get that impedance closer to 50 ohms right out of the SO239. Uh, this antenna system, you may remove one of those elements that we showed you over to the vertical position, and now you've got yourself a vertical. Right here is your counterpoise. It's built in. It's a tuned counterpoise. Excellent for QRP to QRO, full legal limit system on this Survivor tripod. The Survivor tripod is where we do utilize this beautifully machined piece of art that is milled in Pleasant Hill, Missouri. All right, we'll put that down. We'll move on to something else, an off-center fed vertical fan dipole. It's a mouthful. Off-center fed dipole, that's also a fan dipole. Let's check it out. What we have here is we have a ballon in the center of elements. The ballon is here with the SO239 for the connector is over on the other side, right over here. We take and we do a grounded counterpoise on this side of the match. The grounded counterpoise not only provides the other half of the antenna for balance, but it also shunts the noise to ground. On this side of the antenna, on the radiating element side, we have three elements, count them, one, two, and I'll show you the third element in a minute. So path of least resistance for a fan dipole, remember, we already got the off-center fed here, the fan dipole, here's one element for the higher frequencies. There's a little bit longer element for the 15 meter and 20 meter frequencies. Now let's get 40 and 80, how do we do that? The combined length of these two elements here gives you the third elemental length. So. There you are, a six through 80 meter off center fed vertical fan dipole that does not need a tuner that goes on this monstrous tripod that will support 200 pounds. This 200 pound man can get on this tripod and hang from it. Let's check out what's on the bottom of these feet. This is an undocumented feature that we've never shown any YouTube channel before. Spin these like this, all the way up to the top. And underneath here, let me collapse the tripod leg a little, is a spike. You're seeing this for the first time on Chase's channel. 
If you appreciate what he does, all the work that goes into it, the six hours that he drove here to be to this, at this convention, subscribe and like this channel. Seriously, he puts in the time and commitment. It's well worth your time to just click that subscribe or like button. We give back to the communities, and the one thing that we did different than anyone else in the world, we have a make an offer on our website. Go into the product, click make an offer button. If you cannot afford the price, seriously, just do it. We're here for you. Thanks for being there for us. 73.